All right, now we're going to take a look at the offensive line, what we call primary calls. Uh, certainly there are some secondary calls that communicate uh, some of the blocks that will be made, but uh, this is, in fact, just the primary calls. Um, and you'll see what this, what this entails. <clears throat> we start at the center position. The center has two calls to make. He's got an on-call if there's a man on the line of scrimmage and what we consider head up, not in any kind of a shade, shoulder to shoulder. He doesn't worry about any shades. That's handled by the guards. We'll get to that in a minute. And then the only other thing he's got is an off-call, and that would be if he's got a linebacker uh, who's lined up uh, on him but off the line of scrimmage. And again, you know, we always talk about using words that mean something. So he's got a man on him, or he's got a man off him, okay? But the real key for the center is that he's got to make a call, a Lou to the left, or a Ray to the right, and identify the middle linebacker, and we'll get to that in a second uh, as we move on. All right, so he's got an on and an off call. The guards now have the next call, and this is made within, you know, seconds of each other. Anything inside the guard, anything in here, from a shade on the center to the gap to an inside shade on the guard is an in call. Anything head up the, center, the guard is an on call. Any linebacker off the line of scrimmage is an off call, and any shade on his outside shoulder is an out call. So the offensive linemen, other than the center, have an in, an on, an off, and an out call. The same for every one of these linemen. Okay? So uh, this number one helps our linemen identify what they're seeing. It helps them communicate uh, with our coaches when they come off uh, the field. And it also um, allows us in our blocking schemes uh, to get a feel for it. Obviously, defenses that we see most often, uh, we have a real good feel for it. If we had a tight end to our right here and we we're facing a team that plays in uh, an over defense, then most of the time, well, when we had that, we get some kind of an out call from our right guard as the bandit or B-gap player is uh, either in an out or an in in the B-gap. Uh, we get a Lou call because the anchor, the A-gap player, would be here to the left, and our left guard would have an in call, and both our ta and uh, our left tackle on the open side would have an out call, which uh, our open side tackle 99% um, of the time has an out call. Very few teams um, will, will not be outside our last man on the line of scrimmage. Okay, so those are the base. Let's take a look now how it, uh, how it plays out. Okay, again, we'll put up what we've been using for explanations, uh, and that's the over or the 4-3. Again, you see a bandit here, and I've darkened uh, the shade of these uh, defensive linemen. So we've got an out on our right tackle. We've got an in. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> we've got an out by our tight end. We've got an off for our tackle. We've got an out for our right guard. We've got an off for our center. We've got an in for our left guard, and we've got an out for our left tackle. Okay? And that's typical, again, of a 4-3 or an over defense. All right, now here's where the important call comes for our, um, for our center. He's got to make that Lou or Ray call. And you see I have the number here of the, of the uh, middle linebacker. That's critical that we identify who, our, uh, who the middle linebacker is because our blocking scheme, as you'll see, uh, depends on that. And we always start from the open end. So this would be our number one. This would be number two. This would be number three. In our linebacker progression, always going from the open side which here happens to be the left. All right, so he's going to make a Lou 44 call because that's the jersey number that that middle linebacker is wearing. Okay, 
Lou indicating that the anchor, okay, the kick down uh, defensive tackle, the anchor, is to his left, okay? So we have an in call by the left guard. We get an, a Lou 44 call. That's going to tell us that in our protections, our center and our left guard are going to be in combination. The anchor to the middle linebacker. Okay, that'll leave in protection, that'll leave this will for a back, or he may be hot in some, some reads. But that's what the identification process is for us. Now, if we were facing a, a different defense, if we were facing an under, and that anchor was over here, um, then we would, in fact, uh, make a ray call. So it's all based on that anchor, the A-gap player, where we make our call. But it's always the middle linebacker, linebacker number two, that we're going to refer to with his number. So here again would be a Lou 44. Okay? And if we were, and we'll get to pass protection uh, later, but uh, looking at our Bob big on big pass protection, uh, we would have very simply because of, of this Lou call, We'd have a combination here to here, right? We'd have that combination. We'd be here. Excuse me. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we'd be here. And of course, the last part of it, we'd be out here in our base protection, and we'd have the Sam for a running back, we'd have the Will for a running back, but that's our call. That identifies who's in combination and what the responsibilities are in our pass protection, as well as, as well as, um, in our run game. And you'll see that when we explain that. So uh, th that's the calls, and again. The, um, the, the main reason we do this is to show the identification. We can see where people are. We can come off the field and our, our center, our guards can come out, come back and tell our line coach, uh, coach, I'm, they're in a loo all the time. Um, our, our right guard knows, you know, I, I got an out call all the time. We can identify defenses. And we know how to handle things because of where people are and how easy it is to identify uh, all of this.